Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. So in this problem, it is said that it is desired that a person be able to begin closing the van hatch from the open position shown with 40 Newton vertical force P, right? So this person is applying 40 Newton vertical force at this particular point. And it is said that as a design exercise, determine the necessary force in each of the two hydraulic struts AB. So we have to determine the forces in the two hydraulic struts, right? So one is towards us and one is located uh, on the back of this uh, AB strut, right? So it is said that the mass center of the 40 kg door is 37.5 mm directly below point A. So the mass center is located directly below this point A at a distance of 37.5 mm, right? So somewhere here is the mass center, right? So it is said that treat the problem is two dimensional, right? So now if we consider this door for a free body diagram, right? So we will consider all the forces on this door which are acting, right? So let's say that this is that 40 Newton force which the person is applying on this door which is acting vertically downward, right? So this is 40 Newton. Strut will apply the force from B to A, right? On this door, right? So we have to represent that force. So the this will be the force applied by the strut right so since we have two struts so this force will be equal to two times f weight of the door is acting somewhere here let me represent that weight right so that weight is acting vertically below this a right so it is acting somewhere here right and this weight is uh, 40 times 9.81 so now if we apply the summation of moment about point O equals to zero and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So as we can see that this 40 Newton force is producing the clockwise moment about that point O. So this is 40 into the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance between this 40 Newton and that point O is this 11, 12 mm. This is given, right? So this is the perpendicular distance of this P force from that point O. So we have to multiply this with 1125. Similarly, this weight is also producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. So I will write plus this is 40 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point O is not known directly. We have to determine it, right? So that distance is, let me show that distance, right? So if we have this triangle, let's say that this point is O dash. If we have this A O O dash triangle, so this A O dash length is the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point O. So this means that the base of this triangle is the uh, perpendicular distance of this weight from that point O. So let me multiply this with A O dash. So we have to find this A O dash, right? We are given this uh, A O length. This is 550 mm, right? So we know this length. Let me write that this is 550 mm. So this means that if we find this angle, if we find this angle, let's say that this angle is theta. If we determine this theta angle, so then this A O dash will be the cos component of this 550, right? So we have to find this theta angle. Similarly, uh, if again this 2F force is producing the clockwise moment about that point O, so I will write plus 2F and the perpendicular distance of this 2F force from that point O is not known directly but we can represent that. So if I draw a line that is perpendicular to the line of action of this 2F force, if this line is perpendicular, so this length is the perpendicular distance of this 2F force from that point O. So let's say that this point is B dash. So we can write that this O B dash length is the perpendicular distance of this 2F force from that point O and this will be equal to 0. So this equation will give us the force applied by the struts but we have to determine this A O dash and O, o B dash, right? So if we look into this triangle, this is that point A, right? So we have two triangles A O O dash and A O B dash, right? So if we find this angle, let's say this angle is alpha. So then if we find this angle, so then this length will be the sine component of this 550. So we can write that AO dash will be equal to 
AO, AO is 550 cause of this theta angle, right? This angle is let us say theta. So, this is theta and similarly this OB dash will be equal to the sine of this AO, right? So, we can add this will be AO sine of alpha, right? We will consider this alpha since we are considering this triangle. So, we have to find this alpha angle, right? So, we can find this alpha angle by using this triangle. We are given these lines. So, we can apply the law of cosines to find this alpha, right? So, this alpha is the angle uh, in front of this OB lens. So, we can apply that uh, law of cosines. So, we can write that OB square will be equal to AB square plus AO square minus 2 into AB into AO cause of the included angle which is alpha, right? So, OB is OB is 175, this is given, this is 175 squared equals to AB square. So, AB is 600 and AO is 550 minus 2 into 600 into 550 cause of alpha. So, we can bring these terms to the other side of the equation, right? So, this will become minus 600 minus 500 equals to this thing, right? So, we have to find this first, right? So, 175 square minus 600 square minus 550 square, right? So, this is equal to, this thing is equal to minus 631875 and we have to divide it by this product, right? So, we can write that answer divided by minus 2 into 600 into 550. So, this gives us cos alpha, right? So, cos alpha equals to 0 0.957, 0 0.957. And now, if I take cos inverse of the answer, right? So, if we take cos inverse of the answer, so that gives us that alpha angle. So, alpha is 16.79. So, alpha is equal to 16.79 degrees. So, now we know this alpha angle right? So, if we know this alpha angle, so we can find uh, this OB dash. So, OB dash, we can write this OB dash is, uh, now this OB dash is the 550 sine of alpha and which is 16.79, right? So, this is the sine component of this 550, right? Now, we can find this theta as well, right? If I draw a horizontal line here, so this angle is given, this angle is 30. So, if this angle is given, then this whole angle is also 30, this whole angle is also 30, right? So, if this angle is 30 and this alpha is 16.79, then this theta is equal to 30 minus alpha, right? If this whole angle is 30, this is alpha, so then this is 30 minus alpha and we know alpha, right? So, 30 minus alpha is, this is 30 minus that answer, so this is 13.21. Right? So, this angle, this theta is 13.21 degrees. So, we can find that this AO dash. So, this AO dash is now, this AO is five, uh, uh, 550. So, this AO dash is 550 cos of theta, right? So, I will write here is 550 cos of that theta which is 13.21, right? So, this is equal to 0. This uh, 2F force is producing the clockwise moment about this point O, right? So, this sign is negative, right? So, we can find these, right? So, this is 14 to 1125. So, this gives us uh, 255109, right? So, all these gives us 255109. And if we bring this to the other side of equation, so this will become 2F into 550 sine of 16.79. And this F will be equal to 255109 divided by 2 into 550 sine of 16.79, right? 255109 divided by 2 into 550 sine of 16.79. So, this gives us F equals to approximately 803 Newtons, right? So, this F is equal to 
803 newtons right so if this person is applying 40 newton force uh, vertically downwards so this strut will apply each strut will apply 803 newtons uh, force in this direction that is along this ab line so i hope you people would have understood this solution if you people think that uh, all these videos help in your learning so kindly subscribe my channel and like this particular video